after being rejected, Todd Chrisley's home confinement case is currently being investigated internally. The home detention case involving Todd Chrisley is currently being internally investigated after it was originally denied, according to his attorney, who spoke to People. Alum of Chrisley Knows Best was making an application under the CARES Act to be released to home confinement, according to Jay Surgent, but his application, as well as a number of other applications, but particularly his, was rejected. He submitted it, but the person in charge of processing it made the decision that she didn't want to do it. She made the decision not to, says Surgent. And after that, the application deadline passed, so he wasn't given the proper consideration in terms of being permitted to home confinement or benefiting from any kind of probationary program. It's very, very unfortunate, and that matter is currently being investigated internally. We feel that there was no reason why it should not have been processed, even given his prison sentence, Surgent continues. Surgent's remarks follow TMZ's Friday revelation that Chrisley, 54, had applied to serve the balance of his term at home rather than in the extremely hot federal prison camp Pensacola in Florida. According to Surgent, he and his 50-year-old wife Julie are living in squalor in 100-degree temperatures while incarcerated. He also claims that there's no air conditioning, there's no nothing in each of their individual cells. In Lexington, Kentucky's Federal Correctional Institution and Federal Prison Camp Mariana, Julie is now incarcerated and serving a term. Before reporting to prison in January after receiving a combined 19-year prison term for tax fraud, Todd and Julie filed an application for home confinement and started the appeals process in December. The last appeal submissions, according to Surgent, were just finished. The 11th Circuit Court of Appeals has two options for what comes next. According to Surgent, they can reverse the district court or they can remand the case back for hearings that should have been held but weren't held during this trial. We strenuously contended that they had been denied a fair hearing and that their constitutional rights had been infringed. Actually, everything is black and white, the lawyer continues. And both of their living situations, he in Pensacola, Florida, and she in Lexington, Kentucky, are absolutely absurd. Not that we're arguing that just because they're famous, they should get preferential treatment. They don't, says Surgent. What we're saying is that they deserve better treatment, just like other prisoners.